Hi friends, welcome back. Today we have a new practical. So, what is a new practical? The practical is how to extend swap partition. In my pre previous video, I told you how can we extend our LVM partition. Now I'm telling you how to extend your swap partition. What is the swap first? Swap is a PIS file which is used by a system when your physical memory will completely occupy. Right? And it uses some part of hard disk as a RAM. Okay? Okay. Now let's have a look on the system right this is my system let's me uh, there is a command like g no my bad free g right now you can see that there is a swap one once you can see this is my swap right 1 gb uh, this is a virtual system so it's not able to you are not able to see that okay like using it is not so much used but in a production environment you can see use here free here and buffer here and available here right and the same with uh, like in the swap also okay so how we will extend the lbm of the swap actually swap is also part of the lvm now you can see here this is my swap partition this is the one lv logical volume okay one logical volume now you can see part of it is 2 gb but it's showing one but there is a few things which is it's consumed something right okay so we have to it's showing here there's some use and reserve somewhere okay now we have to extend it how can we extend it there are a few commands like first we have to add a hard disk as you know very well how to add a hard disk so here you can see my disk is 5 gig I have to use it as a swap so first of all what I need to do pv create slash dav sdd uh, I believe it was what which lsblk sdd right pv create slash dav sdd oh successfully created now what is my vg name is uh, rel right I have to extend it how to extend it vg extend rel and then your disk name sdd okay now before you extend your run the command lv extend and all you have to run a few commands so if your swap is using somewhere it will automatically free and before that you have to also stop your swap okay how can we do it like echo 3 and run the command pro sys what is the three by the by the way first of all okay let me tell you it's a one if you do one echo one and this and pro right and pro prop sys vm right drop underscore cache what does it what will it do it will do nothing it will do just clean your page cache page cache right and if i will do here echo to and the same proc sys vm drop underscore c s 
in the same also in S case. What it will do? It will clean your connectors, inodes, and entities. Okay. If I want to clean uh, run the same both, I want to clean base cache also, I know the density, so I run echo 3 and talk and sys and vm and draw underscore cases. Okay, so it will work, it, it will do paste cases and even i nodes and it ends okay it will clean all so here i'm running the command this for run this hmm, proc okay sys vm drop cases right i run this okay after that i run the command swap Swap off, okay. V. Well, the give the path. It successfully off. It's saying swap off, okay. So what would be the next step? LV. LV resize. LV resize slash dab. Rel. Swap capital L I put here 6 I want to extend it till 6 yeah successfully extend now what would the next and extra step this is all you need to do in the, even when you extend uh, your normal partition but you no need to run these commands but same is like pv create vg create and extender and the same right in the Linux there is multiple ways to do one thing don't think that if I'm running this command, you have to also run this command. There are other way also. You can use them also. Okay. So it's a mix swap. I'm using very simple steps so that uh, you guys can reperform this scenario at your lab. Even when you're doing this thing in your production you can remember that very easily instead of using very hard words okay i had the ring writing wrapping old swap signatures and and all you can see that now what i need to do i have to just own the swap which i off just few minutes ago now you can see here i off it right now i'm going to own it v a v a stand all Okay, it's on swap is on and it's found a new signature one wasn't this and that So how can you see? Now there are two things more I can show you uh, on live system cat prop swap Now you can see here one priority. There is one partition. Okay And here is size is this equal to 6 GB. How can you see that like now see? It's five. It show. I told you it show one less as per your uh, real size. Here you can see it's a six GB. It's swap this right. This is your practical how to extend the swap. I hope this video help you in the future. Whenever you do this practical in your production environment, even you can reproduce it in your live environment also. Thanks to watch this video. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe our channel, Technical Tech. Thanks.